All right. Here we go. Diablo 2 resurrected. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm doing something different here. I mean, for one, I haven't really done any playthroughs on this channel. And two, I hope this isn't too loud. It, for some reason, I can't adjust the audio volume in these headphones. So it might be too loud for you. Hopefully I can fix this in editing if it is. Um, there's no ladder. I'm not doing hardcore. And let's not do pleaks. Okay, we're starting a necro. Um, yeah, so if you're on YouTube, this might be a bit weird because I do have this streaming on Twitch right now. So if I'm commenting on something and it sounds like someone asked me something, they probably did. I have the chat on this this monitor right beside me here. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to try and talk and, and, and tell you about the things I know about this game, the things I will comment on experiencing in the game. Um, and yeah, I just want to just play through. Um, so... One thing is, I've played through this game multiple thousands of millions of times, more than any game I've ever played, probably combined um, with the time I've put into every other game. Uh, but I haven't really gone through the text. Maybe the first time I went through, because I had a shitty computer when Diablo 2 originally first came out, so it was all choppy and I just got what I could out of the game, which was probably the speech. But I haven't listened to it since, and since this is the questing couch we should probably find out what our quests are i mean i know what they are and what i need to do but let's find out why we need to do them oh, greetings stranger i'm not surprised to see your kind here many adventurers have traveled this way since the recent troubles began no doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristan. oh i have some say that diablo the lord of terror walks the world again I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel mm. this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the country. No. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutka Lane before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. You must talk to Akara. She's the leader of the camp. If she hits you, it's I gonna die. hurt. I priestess of the sisterhood of the sightless eye. I will traveler to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. She turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the Sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. I might even drop a few curses myself. Um, what's going on? Our first quest. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. I wouldn't worry, they're not too strong. Sincere about helping us. Find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye. Sauron? Um. Okay, sorry, I was looking over here. I think I should hit the record button. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to looking at my camera here, but I've put it here. Um, I'm going to hit the record button so it's better quality for my recording that I'm going to be posting on YouTube. So hopefully things don't go to shit. I have a dual 
PC streaming setup here. The frame rate's fine. Okay, we're gonna go with it. Quest log. Look for the den in the wilderness uh, outside or whatever. If there is anyone watching the stream, let me know if it goes to poop. Um, so what we're going to do is obviously the coolest necro you can possibly have is the summoning necro. All who oppose me. I can make arguments for the poison necro as well. All the different classes of necro are great. But um, summoning... Sorry, I'm just getting used to how loud this is in my ears. Again, I hope this isn't uh, bad for you guys. Look at this little fella. It's going to help me... Uh, Cleanse the world. Um, so what I'm going to do is because necros get, or summoning necros get cooler as they get more levels, because obviously they can summon more skeletons, more mages, more, uh, whoops, not more golems, um, but cooler golems and stuff. They just get cooler later on, um, and bone necros are more viable earlier on. Especially because a lot of areas in Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 can get very tight. So not good for a bunch of summons to run around. Uh, I'm going to do Bone Necro up until Act 3 after I kill Mephisto. Because there's also a way I can cheese Mephisto um, with the Bone Necro easier than I could with the Summoning Necro. Once I go through that gate to Act 4, I'm going to switch to the, the Summoning Necro. And it's also Act 4 and Act 5. Not only will I have better skills, but they are wider, more open, and I'll be able to use a Summoning Necro more to his... Whoa, that doesn't look right. Yep, there you go. I sense, I sense, I sense death within this place. I sick a sick a sense death. Um... Yeah, I don't know if that this game, uh, what kind of issues we might run into. In fact, did I make this character online? I hope no one enters my game. Uh, it is early on. It's the first day of release, so anything can happen. I might get booted from Battle.net, and then I won't be able to play this character anymore. But hopefully we won't run into that issue. Um... It also took a long time to start up the game. It was like chugging a lot, but I think that was just the first time set up because I haven't had, except for entering this cave there, I haven't had much issues with any of that. Our first bone skill. Uh, and also to note that I am pretty good at Diablo 2 and I kind of know what I'm doing. You won't see me put anything into energy because any person worth their grain of salt or whatever knows that energy is a quite useless stat. You're gonna need uh, upwards of, I think the sweet spot is like 70, or yeah, 75 strength, so you can wear a lot of things. There's some things that require more than that, but for the most part, you get the rest of those stats from items. Same with dexterity. Um, there's some classes that can benefit from a lot of dexterity from more than just like the wearing items standpoint. But for the most part, you're just getting energy, or you're getting strength and dexterity, so that you can wear things, and then the rest you just pump in the vitality. Even with the sorceress, I'm not gonna. If I make a sorceress, which I will, everyone should have a sorceress. They're great for magic finding and stuff. Um, I never put anything into energy because you end up getting, especially with the sorceress, you get a lot of energy from. Uh, items and whatnot and then you get plenty of mana and then mana potions are dirt cheap so you don't need to put anything into energy why is my skeleton not helping me out getting lots of gems early on that's good I was collecting a lot during the beta but it's like what's the point I wasn't <laughs> you don't get to save any of your stuff from the beta so I was kind of just vendor trashing them. Oh. Um, those are good to keep. I like keeping orbs and staffs and wands and whatnot. Wands not only because I can use them and they might give me some good uh, skills and whatnot, but they also sell for a butt ton. And a ring. 
We're doing great so far. I'm gonna get extra money. That you get to auto pick up, which is awesome. And I'm happy that you can do that because picking up money in the past was a pain in the ass and it was just pointless that it dropped on the ground because no one picked it up. But it is useful for gambling and stuff because you could get actually uniques and a lot of useful rares from gambling. So I expect that I'm going to be doing a lot of gambling now that I'm going to be collecting a lot more money. Which is another reason why uh, energy is pointless because you're going to have so much money that before it was never really an issue with money to buy potions. But now that you're picking up money left and right, it's definitely not going to be an issue. So we're just clearing out this den now. These shamans need to die. Fun trivia about me. My first email ever was dark underscore shaman at hotmail.com because of this game. And don't try emailing that because I was young and dumb and I spelt it wrong. And I'm not going to tell you how I spelt it wrong. But I still use that email to this day. Hooray. And another thing is you may have noticed that hold on, I'll tell you I'll tell you this other cool trivia about me that you can go tell your friends and then uh they could be like uh, who who the hell is this questing couch guy whose name is actually Chris but then goes by Netty in games. He's got so many aliases. Okay. Ow. Ooh, look at those cool lightning effects. They used to look way worse. You want to see? You can actually, uh... I'm having so many problems finding the camera. Wait, let him hit me so you can see the lightning effect. Okay, that was fire. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I want to see your lightning. Do I not have any more health potions? Oh, I do. Cool. He's got special hits, so he hits more. Oh, there's... We're not going to see it, are we? Anyway. Oh, there... Oh, my God. Whatever. He's dead. Um, yeah, you could go back to the old graphics by hitting G on the uh, keyboard, which is cool. So you can remind yourself how much better it looks now. Because a lot of people that was used to play the game that, you know, hadn't played it in a long time and hadn't played it nearly as much as me, looked at these re, uh, resurrected graphics and were just like, it doesn't look that much better. But it truly does. A lot better. And it just runs a lot smoother. I mean, except for all that chugging earlier. Uh, it just looks a lot smoother. All the animations are smoother. It just It's nicer to look at. And it re it, it added Battle.net 2.0 or I, I don't know what they're calling this now. Uh, the new Battle.net. You used to not be able to play Diablo 2 in the new Battle.net. Not even like Warcraft 3 originally uh, was part of it. And that's kind of where the online communities for those games kind of dropped off. Because if they were connected to all the other games, then I feel like they would have had a bit more life in them. I mean, they still do have life in them, and they did kind of fix the bot issues. But, yeah, so what I was saying before, Netty, my alias, was because this was the first online game I've ever played before. I think that's a proper statement to make. Uh, yeah, maybe. At least the first online game where you had to make like an alias name. And then my friend at the time said, Hey, what do you want to call your character? And I said, Hey, Chris is a pretty cool name. And he said, Hey, that's your name. That's boring. You can make any name you want online. That's the point of having an online alias. I was like, okay. Nettie. And I picked Nettie because I think I was watching The Simpsons at the time. And Homer Simpson went, oh, Nettie, to his neighbor Ned Flanders. 
and he said no you could it could be anything it could be like fire stick 69 or or whatever you could it could be words it could be items it could be you could be creative with it and i was like Nettie's fine um so and there's a Nettie curse too every time i've used this name online i bad things happen to me but so far so good so I'm going to be going for Bone Spear because that I could get pretty early on in probably Act 2. Um, and it gets bonuses, damage bonuses, from Teeth. So I'm going to pump uh, skill points into Teeth. And then I'm going to eventually work my way to Bone Spear. And also Corpse Explosion in between is a really nice skill to get. Why is this thing going on? Did I not click the Help button before? It just it wasn't going away. Okay, so now, our next quest. Welcome. Okay, no, first a welcome, and then she'll, she'll welcome us. Here to challenge the evil that's driven us. <laughs> gives her quest. Home. But know this, Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the robes in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my. Yeah, I'll earn your trust. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Let's do it. So, the commonly known... Uh, thing about this game is the Dark Wanderer who you see sometimes throughout the game but also you hear mentioned all the time he's in the cinematics which I didn't play the opening cinematic I guess I could play them as they go along but I mean you can see the cinematics anywhere um, so if you want pause this go watch the opening cinematic and then watch this but you don't really need to the story is there's a guy following Diablo and there's evil in Diablo's wake at this moment and he's trying to free his brothers so they could just rain terror and and hatred and destruction everywhere uh yeah so the wanderer he's the warrior from diablo 2 where in i guess canon lore or whatever he even though you have you can and most people have killed diablo and diablo 1 with the sorcerer or also some of them have killed with the rogue the canon is that the warrior was in fact the one that killed Diablo and then took Diablo's soul stone and instead of destroying it decided it's better if he just shoves it in his skull. Um, so the wanderer is the warrior but the other two are actually in this game. One I'm gonna go I'm going off to kill right now who is Bloodraven. That was the rogue from Diablo 1 and Comment down below if you know who the third one is. He's in Act 2. I didn't realize I had an extra skill I could put in. Uh, he's in Act 2. And yeah. He's the third. He's the sorcerer. But. Let me know if you know what he's actually called. Okay. Scoop up. Oh, yeah. Why am I not using my... Hold on, I'm using my weird ducky keyboard, so it's gonna... I need to use my desktop one to set these. So F1 will be that. F2, F3. Wait, did I even... Did I put one in? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. Oh, perfect. Yes. You're gonna hear that a lot. I don't know if you could turn that off. Like you can in World of Warcraft. Alright. Move along. Yeah, this is great. Definitely a lot quicker than if I were to start as a summoner. Same with Druid. During the beta, I was playing the summoning Druid. And things were going so slow. And I was running out of time to play it. And I wanted to get at least to the end of the beta, which was Act 2. So I had to like restart 
forgetting that I could have just reset his skills. And then I made him a uh, elemental druid and I blasted through it, both act one and two. Yeah, teeth looks way cooler now. It used to look like this. What is going on with the music? Okay. Oh no, my skeleton's gonna die. Okay, here we are. Okay, I don't have a town portal. I don't have potions. I barely have a skeleton. Things will be fine. There we go. Oh, I do have a mana potion. I'm gonna save that for money. Should I? I think I should try. I might find potions. We don't know. But I did struggle with her in the beta. I think they might have made her a bit stronger. But there she is, the rogue from uh, Diablo 1. Drop some potions, please. Eh. Can I get my skeleton? Mm, maybe it's a waste of mana to get my skeleton back. He's going to die almost immediately. Ooh, let me grab that. Yeah, this is going to be slow and painful. I missed. Come on. Good thing I didn't put anything into dexterity. Okay, I gotta kill you. And you. Give me potions, please. I don't think my health is regenerating at all. Yeah, I might have to go back. Valiant effort. I didn't even get the waypoint. I... Ugh. Out of stamina. This is going horribly. Got coffee, though. Alright. I promise we're going to get through Act 1 pretty damn quickly. And then maybe even Act 2. Although, I do... Have to be somewhere in three hours, but that should be plenty to beat Act One. I just really need to stock up on potions and town portals, and then we'll be fine. We'll be cruising, and a large charm would be nice too. I'm honestly surprised. It yeah, I didn't grab the waypoint. It should be. And it will be right here, right around there. Or I'll just grab this town portal. No, I should get the waypoint while I'm here anyway. Because I'll need it. It's a pretty useful one. At least for now. And then I won't need it because Stony Field is actually way more useful. But, you know, I want them all anyway. It was that shrine. Experience. All right, so what we're going to do is kill these people. Um, kill you. Try not to click the shrine. You can only click one shrine at a time, and that's a relatively useful one. Okay. I need this. I do not need that. Uh, hold on to these because we are no longer in beta territory. It's almost surreal that this game is out. Like, I'm going to be spending thousands of hours in it. And it hasn't hit me yet that it's like, like it almost feels like, like a tech to tech, uh, trial or something, you know, like, uh, Ooh. Like, you know when they remake, like, Zelda or Mario with the Unreal Engine and stuff? And you're like, oh, that's cool. Like, but it's actually here. It's complete. It's a complete game. 
We're going to be bail running and cow running and every kind of running. Mephisto magic find running. Getting some runes, doing some ubers. I didn't buy anything. I should do that. Okay. We're going to need healing potions. A few of them. But primarily... If we get enough mana potions, we shouldn't really be needing many healing potions. Okay. I think we're good. I do got one TP. So we're good. We got a cap. And you're dead. Ooh, this thing has thorns? Yep. Attacker takes damage of one, which isn't much, but being that we're in very, very early act one and it's on normal. Ooh, stamina potion. Those are useful too. Uh, and another health potion. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, being that we're in act one, actually attacker takes damage of one will be super useful. And especially in this scenario where there's a bunch of zombies around me and I'm trying to kill Blood Raven, it might actually be crucial. Although I shouldn't be letting them hit me. Okay, let's just pump her with teeth. Not poison. Okay, it didn't last too long. Die, die, die. Okay, now they're dropping potions. Jerks. You freaking jerk offs. Freaking zombos. Okay, we're doing too, we're doing pretty good. If she could stop doing that, that'd be nice. I'm doing that thing again where I, things get intense and I start licking my lips. Originally referred to as Guitar Hero Face. Where you're just so focused. You can't help but make a stupid face. Okay. Man, I'm glad I didn't figure out how to put the Twitch chat on screen for you YouTube people. Because <laughs> there's nobody there. The perks of playing a super popular game on release day when you've never streamed a day in your life. Okay, she's almost dead. I promise I'm good at the game. I promise. It was so close. Okay, we don't need the map because it's just this way. Oh, this would have helped. Back off! Yoink. Look at that bone armor. Isn't there a zoom button? I thought there was a... There's a zoom button. Where's the zoom button? Zoom button. F. Aha! Look at that. And then if we... Yep, that's what it used to look like. Look at that. So much better. Alright. Where were we? We're gonna kill the Blood Raven. We're gonna kill her now. I'm gonna drink my coffee before it gets cold in my mouth. All right, first things first, grab my corpse my army will destroy you. and die. Well, that was easy. Got some boots now and these will be worth some money. And a key's good because there was a locked. Why aren't you picking up the gold?
Return for my mercenary. I can hardly believe you defeated Bloodraven. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. So she gives me one. She gave me Abhaya, which I promise is not just the quality. Yeah. It's not the quality of my recording. It's just I can't even looking at my screen. That's very tiny. It's hard to read. But a cool thing is originally, if we take this up, you wouldn't know what your character does what your mercenary does because they don't actually use their arrow skill ability until level six so you kind of just like keep it around until you figure it out or just hire one that's either cold fire or lightning no i think it's just cold and fire what was the other one cold fire yeah it is just cold oh inner sight no no no, it's just cold and fire. Um, but yeah, as you can see there and here, it actually tells you now. So you, you don't have to... Poison? Uh, no, I'm not going to do poison because um, I'm only going to do bone necro until uh, Act 3 or the end of Act 3. And then I'm going to switch over to necromant or to summoning necro. Because he'll have a lot more... Uh, it summons and it'll look cooler and it'll be more fun and act four and five are actually a lot better for a summoning that crow and act one's okay but act two is actually okay too until you get to the maggot layer but act three is pretty bad for summoning all right where were we uh we need an old deckard Oh, yeah, it should be that way. Why doesn't she have any like that? Did they get rid of it? Either that or it's just like the luck of the draw. Or maybe it's because they're low level. I have no idea. But yeah. I can't. I don't know if they did have a poison mercenary. I know those are the four abilities of the skeleton mages. Is the lightning, fire, poison, and ice. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure. I, I It might... I, honestly, it might be just fire and ice. But I'm pretty sure there was a third one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's identify these. Um, shoot. Is any of these already identified? Uh, there we go. Alright. Alright. Hit recovery is always good. Now, oh, did she already give me the quest for Kane? Ah, shoot, I already. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Blood Raven. Oh, they never actually tell you to go get Kane? I don't remember. But that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna get him. The most useful old man in the world. I heard a ring. Where is that? Oh, there it is.
Good thing I found that town portal. I forgot to buy some. Wow, that ring looks cool. Another cup. And it's not cracked. Although I think it's cloth, so how could it be cracked? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I clear this, I forgot to grab that experience shrine earlier. And that is a perfect mob to use it on. Boop. Oh, this guy's special too. Hooray! Murder for everybody. Up, up, up. Um, lots of teeth. And if you shoot it down here, it goes wider. Look at the quality of those guts. Wow. Eh. I don't like having more than one line of healing potions. Not when you're a magic caster anyway. Let's grab a few more. Grab TP. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good. Lots and lots of experience. And identification for my ring. What the? Extra damage, which I won't use because that only applies to, I believe if you're smacking people, which I'm not doing. Uh, where? There. There's the stony field. If you're still in chat, how are the audio levels? I don't know how to test them. I don't know if I'm quieter than the music. Not enough mana. Yeah. Sick, a preserved head. That might give me something cool. Cool ability. Some extra teeth. And my mercenary died. Let's go on without her. I really do just want to... Game audio is low? Alright, I could boost it a bit. I just don't know why... I'm, for some reason, I'm using like an audio splitting software. So that way, my Elgato and myself get some of the... Output audio. I sound so good at technology. Um, and for some reason, I can't adjust the volume on my headphones. I think we should be better now. I hope. Uh, follow the underground passage. With the spam phone call. I could keep using my skeleton, I guess. Although he's probably getting pretty weak by now. He's still just... He's still just an ability by my wand, so he's a level one. Yeah, he's just getting beaten to death. 
That was awful. Yeah, I think he's just a waste of mana now. Wish I had a better... Honestly, no, I'm gonna go... Hold on. Let's chuck this. That is actually... That's actually super useful. Because that's actually using abilities that I'm using. And I'm about to level so I can use it. So let's empty my garbage. Now I got way too many potions. Way too many. And I can't even get a better belt. And I'm not gonna... I'm too poor to be buying armor and whatnot. Here, let's... Ooh, sexy bigger stash. Let's get some of these gems. Ba ba ba. And put them here. I could tell this is bigger because originally there wasn't enough space to fit every color of gem here and then stack them upwards. And now there is. So that's better for my OCD. Identify this. Uh, actually, I could probably get this lady back and give her this. I can't use that yet. Okay, and give her this. I'll put that to good Hooray. Use. Um, I would buy her a bow, but honestly, as long as I don't forget to equip them, which is a big thing with mercenaries, is I always forget. When I get an item and I'm like, ah, it's garbage for me to remember. Oh yeah, they can use it. So I don't know why I'm so burpy right now. Um, probably because I haven't really, uh, when you're not streaming and you're just recording videos, you don't have to talk this much. And when I'm doing uh, a D&D &D stream with my fe fellow members of careful cantrip streaming every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock um, I don't have to talk a lot because we're always um, we've got a very vocal group of lovely people so I don't I, this is the most I've talked ever at least since before I used to do let's play as on my other YouTube channel um, shoot what was I doing uh, this I'm gonna use. These I could use a tome. Why did my money go down? What did I buy? I thought I had 500. Why is it down? Hmm. I can't even afford a tome. I'll sell that. No, I can. I'd rather have convenience over one rejuvenation potion. Although. Again, for those who haven't played before, or for those who've forgotten that if you keep collecting a bunch of rejuvenation potions, you get the Herodric Cube in Act 2, and then you can combine three of them into a full rejuvenation potion, and those are useful. Especially in, when you have like a low-level magic finder, and you're mainly if you're a sorceress and you're teleporting and you're getting smacked all the time, it's good to have a little instant heal. I mean, every class benefits from a nice little instant heal. I do fall under the trap of, like, you have a bunch of full rejuvenations, and then you have, like, you're so in admiration of your own collection of them that you're scared to use one of them because then you'll have less, and you'll feel less complete inside. Um, other than that, yeah, they're great. She can't use crossbows, but she does feel stronger now, so good for her. And I feel stronger now. A lot stronger because, well, for one, I can use my item thing. I can sell that for some moolah. And now I can unlock this bar of things. But 
Normally I'd get that because I usually work towards a poison necro, but since we're not going to get that far with this guy, um, I mean, later on, once I get into Nightmare and Hell, we will, but since I'm going to switch to Summoner later, got to get my one in Corpse Explosion because we're going to need Bone Spear at level, what was that, 24? No, 18. And more strength because I will benefit from better armor and whatnot. Although soon I should probably put a few into vitality because if I don't get vitality and I get hit by Andariel's poison, it can do a lot of damage unless I get some items that negate the poison. Hopefully, we're blessed with, ooh, a preserved head, and also blessed with uh, a small underground passage, and we find our way out super quickly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch the resistance and corpse explosion and whatnot, because, yeah, I could actually benefit from, I think, level three skeletons, because I could summon three of them. And also that bonuses to my teeth and bone armor, which I keep forgetting to use. Yeah, I, I yeah, I can use. Yeah, this will be good. This will speed things along. I can even just sit back here while they do the work, and I'll just organize things a little bit. Do 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 do. Summoning is nice. And they're they're creating such a nice wall that my mercenary can just fire pot shots. It's good for all of us. Uh, so that's not the actual exit, but we will go down there and get some of the kill some of the rares, and especially now that we have the skeletons and we can make quick work of it, just for the extra experience. And we might actually find some good loot, but mainly for the experience because who really cares about loot? at this level unless you're you've already gone through the game and farmed Sigon's armor that's a good starting set um, that'll actually be good some juves look at them just murdering away their brothers and cousins Oh wait, shoot. I don't think I can sing on Twitch. I might get banned or something. Because of copyright. Can't belt I can't belt my Elton John tunes. I just recently watched the Rocket Man movie. And boy I liked it. A lot of people like the uh, the Queen one better. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody, which was a really good movie. But I like that um, Rocket Man is very show -toony, like very theatrical. Okay, uh, I have way too many healing potions. I'm just gonna, yeah, get rid of them. Um, it's very theatrical, like watching a musical theater or something. Ooh, way better. I don't need that. It's not even gonna be worth a lot. Uh, so uh, yeah, I enjoyed that movie, and I've been just listening to a lot of Elton John music recently and I think it's worth a watch and I think to an extent mm, I mean I guess yeah Bohemian Rhapsody is kind of accurate as a movie although they did embellish the fact that you get very uh, emotionally tied to Bohemian Rhapsody because of the whole uh, Freddie Mercury had AIDS and then he performed the concert anyway and everyone was sad but they're like let's give him one good last performance but in reality in real life he didn't know in fact I don't even think he had AIDS before uh, that iconic concert the live aid concert um, so they switched that around because it would be better for the movie but I'd, I think I'd rather it have been more factually accurate because I, I understand they wanted to make a good movie out of it 
but I'd I'd rather be able to reference the movie as fact to all my friends and be like, did you know this about him? Did you know this about him? I mean, I guess he still can, but it does take some power away from that ending scene or the ending performance when you actually know he didn't actually have AIDS at that time or know about it. I don't even know, like, and it then it makes you question how accurate the rest of the movie is, which I think is the bigger problem with it, because then, like, they said, like, he blew a kiss or winked or something to his parents or his mom while he was doing that performance. I wonder if that was true. Or if that was just made up, too. Like, it makes you question everything, and which is kind of shitty. And you have to, like, you don't want to have to watch the movie for all this, like, knowledge of Freddie Mercury and then be like... But now I have to also research it as well because it might not be true. But I don't think I think most of it's true. But well, yeah, with the Rocket Man one, it's definitely like it didn't all happen like that. But things like the gist of it is true. Like um, How he was at living at his parents' place when he was given the lyrics to your song and then sat down at the piano there and played it. That was true. That's how that happened. And I think they did it justice. Such a good song. But yeah, don't think I can sing on Twitch. Can't sing on YouTube. And I was going to use this footage on YouTube, so... Yeah, guess I'm locked. Can't sing. Poopy. Hey, where is this exit? I think this torch is a clue. I don't know. I think there used to be a clue. There used to be less torches, maybe. Or maybe there weren't. I used to use map hack. I'll admit it. Not towards the end of my uh, Diablo 2 career. Not at the beginning. There was like a midway in between where like they weren't too stringent on using hacks and stuff online. So yeah, I indulged a bit. I mean, you have to spice things up. And it made magic finding a lot easier. And then they made it harder to get away with map hack. And to be honest, it's better not to use it. You feel more like you've earned everything. Especially with magic finding. You have to go through the pain of teleporting and hoping you guess the right direction every time you do it so then when you finally do find something after all that struggling you really feel like yeah I found that I earned that I'm the best around don't think I'm allowed to sing like that but is this a parody I don't know can you sing parodies Okay, I don't want any more in Corpse Explosion because it does nothing for me. And to be honest, one level into Corpse Explosion is enough. It's still a kick-ass spell. Even towards, like, hell. If you have one level in it, it's awesome. It does uh, 70 to 120 percent damage of the corpse's life. So as you're going through the game and the enemies get more and more health, then the level, the, the skill scales with it regardless of the level of the skill. The level of the skill just increases the radius, I believe. Um, let's get some vitality. Just one. A little spurt there. A little health spurt. Lots of these wolf helms. They're going to sell well. In fact, let's go empty. Right now. Ah, oh, shoot. You know, I should just grab the scroll while I was there. Oh, well. I'm literally just going to clear out my inventory, go back for two seconds, and then come back. Money, 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 money. Yeah, these sell. This sells for nothing. That is a good amount of money. Oh, yeah, the trick is you go boop, 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 boop. Works better when you have a bigger belt, but there you have it. Tips and tricks from Chris of the Questing Coach. 
questing couch, which you might notice I'm not in an actual couch. It's actually right behind the camera. But I'm not going to show it to you because it took me forever to get the right position for this camera. One slight nudge on it, and then I'm not in frame, and then it's a whole struggle. I didn't sell my fulminating potion. How do you pronounce that? Fulminating. Greetings. Fun to use, better to sell. A little repair ski. A little deposit ski. And a little back to it ski. Okay, we just gotta go find the tree. Kill old tree head wood fist. And then we can go back to the stony field after we get the. Ooh, that's useful. That is useless, so let's swap those ones out. I mean, the money's not very useful either, but the one to maximum damage or whatever is. I haven't used it yet because I'm not hitting people with my with my wand. Okay, where is this is a nice experience, but I'd rather just get the old scroll. I should also buy some stamina potions when I'm back. Cause there's a lot more running to do. And running out of stamina is not fun. What waypoints am I missing? Oh, stony field. We'll get that when we go back. Not that we need it, because we only... We do need it right now, because I need to go back there. So shoot, I think I have to go back to the cold plains. Uh, and then run back, which is why I'm going to need stamina potions. Or this. That helps. Treehead, wood fist. There he is. Oh. He's a big old brute. He's gonna die though. Don't kill my. Mm. Not before you kill my mercenary. It's money out of my pocket. Take that. We'll just take that and sell it since we have to go back immediately. Take a stamina pot. Fill up my belt. I didn't really need that mana because I'm going to talk to a car anyway. She's going to fill it up. But this tree shines with inner there's spirits. a scroll. And that is the stones in the stony field. And she's going to... The car is going to tell me all about it. And then we're going to have to run back to the field of stones. Tell me about it, a car. Alright, she tells you the order. But if it was a scenario of like you click one stone and if you get it wrong it resets, that would be a problem. But it's not. You could just run around and click them. Gotta remember where the camera is. You could just run around and click them all. And then no consequences. Works just as well. And it's less annoying than memorizing the scroll. I haven't memorized a scroll, and I'll demonstrate to you what I mean. Yeah. Go away. Oh, I keep forgetting that I have A, this, and B, skeletons. Okay. Just to humor myself or satisfy myself. Because the stones are there. I know. I know they're there. I want to get to the waypoint. And I want to kill these, which means switching to my teeth spell. Boop. 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 Oh, I forgot to resurrect my mercenary. Ah, shoot. That's another good reason to get the waypoint, because I should go grab her before going into the Tristram because Tristram very good for experience uh, yes corporal explosion 
True. I guess I could have done maggot layer and stuff with corpse explosion. Would make it a lot easier. But then sometimes it's just one enemy you can see in the way, and then you, you still have to kill that guy before you can use corpse explosion. But yeah, it is, it is the better option than not having another option and having to use your summons. But summons do kind of get pretty strong and can kind of plow through there pretty quickly, but not nearly as much as if they can swarm, which is when they truly get good. And I didn't use the waypoint to get my mercenary, but I'm going to do that right now. Not you. Where can I take you? You. Okay. Let's get that geezer. Impossible. What? Impossible. What? Guess it wasn't very impossible. That was weird. Is that a glitch? Wow, those things annihilated my skeletons. Don't kill my mercenary, at least. They're killing my mercenary. Yay, she survived. Uh, let's kill Griswold. The good old blacksmith. Oh, a bow from my mercenary. From Diablo 1. No, don't kill her. Good assistant. Is that another ring I heard? Ah, shoot. Old Grizzy killed her. Not enough mana. Oh. This actually might be a good time for Corpse Explosion. Not the best. He's just got too much dang old health. Skeletons might actually help a bit more, though. Now that there's not so many things attacking them. Although Griswold could probably kill them pretty quickly. But they'll hold them back a little bit. You just cast Amplify Damage. Which is rude. That skeleton's actually doing a shit ton of damage to me. Die, you bald piece of garbage. Uh, more strength. You. Eh. Don't like you. Wow. Just as hard as Griswold. Oh, because they're minions. That's why. And that cold is annoying. Run away! Deckard Kane, if you value your life, leave here immediately. Yeah. I want to get Work's leg. Not that I could really use it anytime soon. But it looks cooler now. It, it actually looks like a prosthetic leg instead of a piece of wood. So I want to show it off. I could probably use a skull cap too. Oh, that's good experience. Not that my mercenary can get it anymore because they keep murdering her. Not enough mana. I need mana. Okay. Ooh. That might be better too. Ah, shoot. There we go. 
Oh my god. Oh, I can't even carry his leg right now, can I? I could do this. Look at it. Can't zoom on it, but that looks like a proper prosthetic that fits the kind of gothic time period. Uh, I'll just chuck these on my belt for now. Ooh, this is a lot easier. I'll take that. Chuck it in the old stash. And go say hi to Kane. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago Diablo was slain beneath Tristram. And when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly... Oh, no. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of fowl. Didn't mention anything about the giant stone in his head? And the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him, or all will be lost. Do what I can. Oh yeah, identify. Work for me. And I'll get my ring, please. You have risked your life to rescue Cain. For that we thank you. You must seek his counsel immediately. I just did. A little light radius never hurt anybody. Uh Ooh. Okay. No! Oh no. It is not worth buying back. That is shitty. I didn't want to keep this one. Ah, shoot. Ah, uh, alright. Whatever. Can she even use this bow yet? Nope, because she's dead. I'll get her. Good evening. Noish. And I'll take this, and you take that. I'll put that to good use. I'll take this. You take that. I'll put that to good use. And cool. Yes. Um, put these back up here. And buy lots of mana. We are doing pretty good for money now. I might see if I can actually. Maybe I can get a belt upgrade. That would be a lot nicer. When I fled the monastery, I left behind the Herodric Malice, my enchanted smithing hammer. If you can retrieve it for me, I'll use its magic to strengthen your equipment. Oh, I'll get it for you. And I I know that some people have gotten really good items from that. From uh the imbuing. Never me. Okay, do you have a good belt? What can I do for you? Good boots. I'll keep the hit recovery. No, no belts yet. I think you have to hit a, a certain level. Or act two. 
But I'm pretty sure you can get them here. Yeah, it's probably like level 12 or something. We'll get one soon. Oh, I'm level 8 already. Uh, did I need to do anything else in town? I don't think so. Did I get the dark wood waypoint? Yeah, perfect. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go. And I am going to do all the quests. So we are going to go kill the countess and get her runes and gold. And quite a bit of experience along the way because there's actually quite a few rare monsters in her tower. Got one stamina potion. Keep forgetting. That's probably what I thought I was forgetting in town. We could get some strong skeletons now that we have this. I guess I'll treat this like, um, like how Stan Lee says, um, that you should make every comic book like it's everyone's first comic book, like it's the first one they've ever read. So I'm going to treat this like it's the first time anyone has ever played Diablo 2. Now, this would be a good time for you to go in the comments and be like, no, I, I'm not no noob. I've been playing this for years and I have experience and stuff. And I'm not trying to insult your knowledge of the game. In fact, I'd be willing to admit that there's probably a lot I don't know about the game. Like, I never really dove in deep to, like, rune words and stuff. Like, I don't think I ever got, like... Um, shit, what's that armor called? Enigma? Uh, like, where you can, like... I think it's Enigma where any character can teleport and things like that, or like the, I forgot what the name of the one is that you give your mercenary an act to for his weapon that gives him an aura. Yeah, I never really like went, because I, I couldn't be bothered to trade with people and I had bad luck finding runes, so I never really made those rune words. So there's, there's people that know more about rune words, but there are people that don't know much about this game. And a lot of them got streaming codes early on. There's one guy that was streaming and then got a unique off the bishop, the the dark rare dark shaman guy that I killed earlier in the, in this. And he got a unique and he was like, Is that a common thing? Are these rare? So yeah, there are people that don't know much about the game. There's probably people that pump up the energy because they're like, Yeah, mana makes things easier. Well, potions make things easier too. Uh, and now, in saying all that, I forgot what I was going to say that someone might not know. Hmm. Well, it'll come to me. And as, yeah, I'll just, I'll say things that uh, might be common knowledge for people that have played the game before, but might be good for people to know. And I thought even saying that, that it would come back to me what I was going to say. Ah, things. Is there something about an item, maybe? Whatever. It's not going to come back to me. The more I think of it, the further it's going to get. That type of stuff used to bother me. and still does, but I try not to think about it. Oh, I remember. Yeah, the skill shrine I had earlier. If you are like a summoner, or not even a summoner, if you're someone like me, who happens to have summons because of items, or you just don't have a lot of skill points in summoning. Uh, so I had pretty weak skeletons early on, and when I got that skill shrine, I was able to make stronger skeletons because my skeleton skill, even though I don't have anything in it and I'm just using um, items, it went up and when you summon the skeletons and your shrine goes away the skeletons will stay just as strong as they ever were until they die um, 
the caveat to that is if I got a skill shrine and it then allowed me to make more skeletons, say it made me let me make four skeletons instead of the three, then when the shrine goes away, the fourth skeleton will disappear. It'll just crumble. But the three that remain will still be stronger skeletons until you have to resummon them. So there you go. The more you know. And yeah, as I said before, anyone that's played this game before is probably like, duh. But it's good knowledge. But I wouldn't be surprised out there if there was someone that knew a lot about the game. And then that was like the one weird thing. They're like, I never knew that. Happens. There's still plenty of opportunity for me to learn things and go, I never knew that. Although, if there was a game, I'd be like, if I had to pick one game where I'm like, is there one game out there that you think would be pretty much impossible to surprise you with knowledge that you didn't know about the game before? This would be that game. Just because I've put so much time into it. And like, especially back when it first came out, there wasn't like so many games to distract you. Like there wasn't Steam. There wasn't like dirt cheap games you're constantly buying on Steam and not playing and, and just like... Nowadays, I have so many games that I'm, I just, every 15 minutes, I feel like I'm jumping to a new game because I don't have the attention span to stay attached to one. But but this game, it was just like addictive enough and it was like out at the right time where I didn't have a lot of games and I couldn't afford to keep buying games where like I just got like properly addicted to it. Like it was a, oh, all my skeletons died. It was like almost a problem. My parents had to be like, okay, go outside, go do something else. Go clean or something. They weren't very, um, they didn't really lay down the law a lot, but thankfully they did make me go outside and play a lot. Which was also some of my best memories because I lived right beside a park and then you just got to know everybody in the neighborhood. And now every every one of my little minions are dead. Thankfully there's a, oh my god, I'm gonna be dead. Oh, I didn't see that I didn't have any potions left. Oh no, it's right by the waypoint too. Ah uh, now I gotta run back. He kinda runs weird without weapons. Anywho, <laughs> he's just, I guess he's holding his hands out weird. Like he is holding a weapon. Like that'd be fine if he was holding something, but he's not. So it's, well, maybe it's fine. I do like his outfit when he's not wearing armor. It looks cool. I would dress up like that if I didn't have, like he's got like a proper six pack. I have a, I have a proper keg going on. Oh. I just hit my headphones and it pulled them out of my ear. Oh yeah, I can identify. Or I can't. But this old man sure can. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll hold on to that because I might just get some random item. I could just chuck it in and get a bit of extra mana. I'll just buy a few more of these, a few roadies, and some of these, plus one. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I skipped that one too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Which, I can't even remember, did I? Yeah, I went that way. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm still pretty strong. Uh, that's the thing, like, early on in the game, you're not really getting too many skills and buffs from your uh, items. 
So I can still kind of handle myself without my without my gear. So that's nice. It's a little comfort. All right, I'll use a little stamina. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and grab the waypoint, but then I'm gonna backtrack a bit because I want to do the tower. Because we're doing this like comic book, remember? Some people haven't seen the tower and they're probably like, I want to see this awesome tower. What's going on with the tower? What kind of cool adventures is there to be had in a tower? Well, you're going to find out. You're going to be disappointed, but you'll find out. One hit. <gasps> My first unique ever. And and Diablo 2 Resurrected. And I should know the name of them, but I don't. It's in here somewhere. But my memory's not been very good lately. Which is a bit concerning. Uh, Alright. To the tower. And to the waypoint. I want to get the waypoint. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. Comic book lesson number two. And by comic book lesson, again, if you're just tuning in now, it means I'm going to over explain things that most people know just so that everybody knows now. Because some people don't. Um, if you go to a gem shrine, it's just going to give you a chip gem unless you already have a gem in your possession. Topazes are always good because they give you magic find, and magic find is good um so if you have any other gem in your possession in this case i only have chip gems so i have a chip gem but whatever the highest gem is in your inventory on your character that's the gem that the shrine will upgrade so it's gonna bring it the next level so chipped will become flawed flawed becomes normal then flawless then perfect I probably missed one there. But there we go. Flawed Topaz. So these are key. There's people that collect perfect gems. And uh, those are very good for collecting perfect gems. Because then you don't have to use three of them in the Roger Cube to get a perfect gem. Let's get a healing. Get a mana. And fill up my thing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all gems aren't as useful as they are in Diablo 3. They're, they're mainly used for different rune combinations because later on, if you want to combine runes, and I think other things, well, I'm not sure, but I think it's mainly runes, um, you need to use gems in combination with three runes to upgrade them. So people like having lots of gems. But Topaz is good because everyone always wants more magic find. Because more magic find means better items. Eventually you get items that have good magic find as it, sorry, as it is. But you could also boost that. There's runes that give you even more magic find than a perfect Topaz. But those are rare, and usually you don't want to use them. And Perfect Topaz gives you quite a lot. So, yeah, Topaz. Good. They're very good. Magic Find makes a huge difference in this game. You need to stop raising people from the dead. That's my job. Later, when I become a... Uh, when I become a summoner. Although I can get three little... Uh, Hooligans, as it is right now, they're weak, but they're there. Okay, let's hope we find the waypoint before the tower. Not that it matters, we need to know where they both are, but it always feels better when you find the tower and you can just go in knowing that you already have the waypoint. Because if I go in the tower, 
with the plan of getting the waypoint after the tower, I'm going to forget about it. And then I'm not going to get the waypoint. It's not really going to matter because I'm never going to come back to the Black Marsh. But I'll feel less complete. And that doesn't feel good. Top up my health ski. Ooh, another Topaz, which is a really good gem. Um, need another stamina. The hole again is like there's a few rare monsters in there and and some treasure, but who cares? There's better treasure in the Black Tower. I think it's called the Black Tower. If memory serves me, as stated before, it doesn't usually. I am going in heckin' circles. I'm trying not to swear. Not that I don't swear in my everyday life. But I'm trying to keep my channel uh, family friendly. And I think not swearing helps. So if there's parents out there watching this right now, I was going to say send your kids my way, but that sounded really creepy. And I want to uh, not say that. But they can watch my videos and 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 it's fine. Ooh, see, prayers already. Um always need mana. Always not enough mana, always too many health potions. Okay. So this tower should be able to make quick work of it. Although right now it's seeming a lot bigger than I remember. There we go. One level. Okay, let's do a memory test here. I'm pretty sure there's five levels to this. A three. Ooh, let's see what my charm is. That's pretty good. Gore foot. I won't really get advantage of the mana per hit, but still better than my old boots. Uh, eh. I want to see the name of that rare. Sharp Shank. If Shanks is out there watching, I included you in my Let's Play. On purpose. I programmed that. That's for you. You're welcome. Mana Pot. You need some juice and you're on the loose and you get mana pot. Noish. That just cleared those guys. They can't take my teeth. Are they getting 8 to 10 damage? Uh, still pretty weak, but uh. It'll do for now. The idea is it's weak, but if you get really up close to someone and do it like that, you can hit them with multiple teeth. So it's still pretty good. But not nearly as good as Bone Spear. So I'm looking forward to getting Bone Spear. My first set item. Dun, dun, dun. 
I really wish I set up like sound effects and cool little things with my stream like like other people have but honestly I'm doing like a dual uh, PC streaming setup and that took me a while to figure out how you're supposed to do that and I think I mean on that screen it looks like it's working fine and I haven't seen any complaints in the comments so I think it's working out but I was worried that I'm gonna have so many technical difficulties that I didn't want to add more new things that can possibly go wrong so that's why I don't have sound effects and stuff I just got a cool little frame around my uh, webcam and two computers streaming right now so I feel like you know that's a pretty good start for someone that doesn't stream ever yep there's only five levels here and we're just gonna speed on through to the countess she likes to make firewalls and really hurt you with her arrows so let's be careful she doesn't have an arrow my bad that is another example of my memory failing me or flailing me because she's got a she's got a flail and she's murdered my mercenary and I murdered her what why don't we get two runes I was pretty certain that you get three runes whenever you kill her. So, that's another instance of my memory flailing me. Or, they nerfed it. They wanted people to struggle for runes. Let me know in the comments down below. It's about time I got a better belt. Alright. Let's TP out of here. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I wanted to read that. Who once bathed in the rejuvenating blood of a hundred virgins was buried alive. And her castle, in which so many cruel deeds took place, fell rapidly into ruin. Rising over the buried dungeons in that godforsaken wilderness, a solitary tower, like some monument to evil, is all that remains. The Countess's fortune was believed to be divided among the clergy, although some say that more remains unfound, still buried alongside the rotting skulls that bear mute witness to the inhumanity of the human creature. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> That's not what he said, though. Yes. Oh, there we go. Done, my friend. Courage and opportunity together have created in you a kind of alchemy. What? What's the definition of alchemy? I just know it as making potions and stuff. Uh, if only I had a Twitch following, I'd have someone that can answer it for me. <laughs> Guess I'll never know. What? What the heck? What? What the heck? What is that? Can I not have that happen, please? I don't want people talking in my thing. What the? Okay. I don't know how to turn that off. So I guess that's just going to pop up from time to time. Great. Don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, I don't even have any sockets doing. I can screw it. I'd rather have the money. Um, more stamina. Yes, please. Yeah, save those runes. I can finally replace that. Um. Okay. Let's put the gems and the runes into my stash. 
And then we can... Con I didn't grab that freaking waypoint, did I? My... God. Um... I should get more TPs. Actually, I'm just going to fill my TP book. I have the money to do it. Spoil myself. And then a few more mana pots. And we're good to go. Oh, no, I did grab it. Cool. Pat myself on the back for that one. I earned it. We are well on our way to beating Act 1. We just need to get our way through... Um, this uh, sanctuary thing. Bro. Um, bro. Oh my god. Can I? Hold on. I really want to turn that off. It's got to be in the options, I think. Bro. I'm in this chat. I'm in the end game. Act 4, bro. Um. Gameplay? Gameplay. It's probably gameplay. Uh, show the clock. Then people will know what time it is where I am. And I don't know what they would do with that information. Um, ammo count? Chat gem mode? The heck? Allow online chat. Disable online chat. I think we've done it. And we found the barracks. We're just so good. Wow, it's a little, still a little dark and spooky in here. Darker than I remembered. Hope it looks good for you guys. Ah, uh, shoot. I should have got my mercenary. Should have got the mercenary. I need mana. Uh, okay, one second. Good thing I got all those teepees. Let's go get her. Actually, Greetings. what level is she? She's level 7. But I could hire a level 10. And, to be honest... I'd rather have a cold arrow. So goodbye. Whatever my oh, I forgot to take her items. But goodbye to her. And hello to Paige. Who will be replaced by Mac 2 mercenary, but don't tell her that. Let her die a few times for me. Eh, eh. One more check to see if I could get a better belt. Good evening. By the way, it's very common to see a Diablo 2 player just keep their map up. It just makes things easier. I know you could put them in the in the top corner too, but there's something good about it being like right in the middle of the screen and you could kind of like traverse the map and the game at the same time. And something just happened to my OBS. And then it just went back to the way it was. I think we're still good. Streaming is a... It's a... It's a new endeavor. Okay, so we need to find the smith. He's not here. Because he's going to have the Herodric Malice that I can give to Charcy. And she can imbue my item with garbage stats. And then we can all feel worse about ourselves. Thundermithlin is a part of Sabre. Don't want that. Um. Okay. 
again. I hope we find the smith before we find the entrance to the jails. Also, hopefully soon I can show off a cool new thing they added. Which should, I think it's down here. It might be in the jails. And it might be in the catacombs. But I'll probably find it. And I can show it off. I'm just going to go back to this well really quick because I don't want to waste my super cheap and easy to get potions. Is that, oh my god, there's always so many freaking health pots as mentioned before. But they're not as useful as a mana pot. And neither is an amethyst. Another cool thing about gems though, it's not useful, but it is fun, is that if you put an amethyst in like armor and a helm, or even your weapon, it'll make it purple. And if you use a sapphire, it'll make it blue. It can make your guy look funny. So that's a cool thing you could do with useless gems and items that you don't care about. Make him look cool. I have a feeling that he's going to be in here. Nope. There's the jail. Hopefully he's close though. So that way we don't have a, have a far way to back travel. It is a lot harder to think when you're um, streaming for some reason. What is that? Is that just me or is that a thing? Well, I'm going to get this bookshelf, which is a lot more useful in uh, Diablo 1. Because that's where you get most of your spells, from books. And every character can use the same spells. But the sorcerer in Diablo 1 could increase their energy level way more than the other two and the way you get your skill higher is uh, every level of a spell has a different energy threshold so for instance I'm just gonna make up numbers to get a level 1 fireball you would need 10 energy to get a level 2 you would need 12 energy to get a level 3 you would need 15 energy and it scales upward but there's a maximum amount you're allowed to put into energy as a warrior or a rogue. But the max for a sorcerer was way higher. And spells were like the most useful thing in the game in Diablo 1. That pretty much everybody played a sorcerer. So if anything, the sorcerer should be the wanderer. Because I guarantee you he's killed, the, he's killed Diablo way more than the warrior. There he is, Kevin Smith. When he's not making movies, he's beating people with a hammer. There's the malice. This is gonna take a hot minute. He's got a lot of health and armor, or he's just a. Uh, He's just a hulking beast, he is. Oh, uh, no. Uh, no. Not again. Let's just put this up just in case. Because I'm actually out of these health potions that I said were abundant. Boy, do I look like an idiot. Come on. Wow, one hit. My skeleton's a weak little... Little fella. And he's dead. Uh, almost. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting stamina. I 
cast rate is pretty good. That damage is pretty bad. And I'm pretty dead. Good thing I have that uh, Tom Portal. Good thing I didn't do that thing that I was going to do, which is every time I die, I was going to do a karaoke song at the chat's request, but I figured there wasn't going to be enough chats, and I didn't think I was going to die. I was definitely wrong on one of those counts. keep hearing things. Um... Keep think hearing things IRL. Okay, that should be enough. I think that amulet might be better than mine. I forget what I had. So we'll find out. Yeah. And he's dead. Ew, a crystal sword. It might be worthwhile looking into like a better weapon that actually does damage, because right now this is only giving me one skeleton and no damage, so it's kind of useless. Maybe. Actually, no. I think it has to be like a normal item. I don't think a blue item can be increased. Good day. Good but we could try. for returning the Herodric Malice. I will now imbue one of your items with magical powers. Ooh. Okay, let's try. I'm pretty sure you can't do it with this. Strange noises in the air. Oh yeah, it is better. Cool. Why haven't I put worse leg away? What could I possibly do with that now? Fun fact, for those that aren't in the know, that's how you open up the cow level. You get one worse leg and a Tome of Town portal. And I'm pretty sure this has been fact checked and true, but the more Town Portals uh, scrolls that you have in the Tome means the higher density of the cows. Haha, ha, Rain Array! So, and you have to beat the game before you can make the cow level. So once you beat the game, then there's extra enemies you can start a beef with. I'm good. I'm just getting used to this whole streaming thing and how I'm possibly like for all I know you'd said hey hey 20 minutes ago I'm finding it hard to see the chat I think I should have put it more in my eyeline but you know I could adjust oh was Dave planned to be on hops and dragons or just did he just like phone bomb them like we do with your stream I'm just realizing there's another issue with streaming. I don't know what questions you're answering. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Okay. Now, now I, I know what questions you're answering. Oh, that's cool. Why didn't he want you on cam? Or were you already on cam? I don't know anything that's going on. I wish there was a way to get like the chat overlay on my screen where I'm playing the game without it showing up necessarily on the stream itself. There's nothing wrong with being on camera in your pajamas. I do it every Tuesday. Who has corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled their ancestral monastery? This does not bode well for us, my friend. 
Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils once overthrew the three prime evils, mm. Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal, banishing them from hell to our world. Here they caused mankind untold anguish and suffering before they were finally bound within the soul stones. And Doriel's presence here could mean that the forces of hell are once again aligned oh, behind Diablo and his brothers. If this is true, then I fear for us all. You must kill her before the monastery becomes a permanent outpost of hell and the way east lost forever. Anything for you, old man. Uh, da, 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 da. And for those of you on YouTube, this is one of those instances where I'm reading the chat on Twitch and you can't see it. But I assure you, I'm not talking to myself like I was earlier. Um, yeah, there's got to be a way to do it, but I don't know. Honestly, if I just like found a way to mount my phone like on my monitor of my laptop where I'm playing and just have the chat going like that, then at least I can see when a new chat thing pops up. But I guess it's less of an issue for like actual streamers that <laughs> have been streaming for a while and they just know that there's people constantly chatting so they know people are in the chat and they can just constantly look at it and respond every once in a while. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we killed Kevin Smith. Oh yeah, shoot, I was gonna see if I can imbue my sword, which I think... Yeah, I can't. Uh, but we could probably get a piece of item from... <gasps> yes! So I can finally get more belt space. And a better belt. Okay. Okay. I stand corrected. Sometimes I do get good stats from her. And hooray. I got more space. And a sweeter weapon. That does look cooler than it used to. Wait, let's zoom again. Ooh. It actually looks like crystal. Let's look at the old graphics. Okay, no, it did look pretty, it looked pretty cool. But my armor definitely looks way better. Okay. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay. Um, are we good here? I think we're good. No, I should probably get some more potions. Ba ba ba. Uh. Huh. Eh. Actually, is there a better wand I can get? Because this sword, although better than my previous thing, um, isn't good enough that uh, a wand that maybe gave me more teeth spell skill or something like that would be better. No, there's nothing better here. Oh, hey. Oh, my God. A thing's happening. I'm actually getting people in chat. Hooray! I'm a proper streamer now. Guys, check it out. My dual, my dual uh, computer streaming thing. I think it's working out. Unless you guys confirm now that it looks like garbage or something. Like, I think it, I had someone in helping me with the sound levels. But I think it's good. I'm finally getting used to where the camera is, too. Okay. Let's kill this evil bitch. Aw, oh, shoot. I, st I mentioned earlier that I wasn't going to swear. Because I was going to keep this family friendly. I guess they say bitch in Harry Potter, so it's good. It's fine. Harry Potter's still family friendly. Let's go to jail. Level 1. All right, let's uh, get some skeletons. 
Actually, no. Let's use my teeth on them first. Then we'll summon some skill. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Yeah, when you level up and you don't actually own the skills, then you're getting the skills from an item. They blow up. If you have, like, skeletons that you're getting from an item, they'll blow up when you level up. Ah, shoot. Now they're killing Paige. Paige is down. Oh shit, I'm almost down. Fucking hell. Oh shit, I swore again. Everything's going to... Everything's going to poop. Good evening. Okay, I do need more health potions. That's for damn sure. All right, as we were. I guess I don't have to worry too much about swearing, because I mean, sure, when I was doing Nintendo videos, but we're killing demons. We're murdering things. I'm summoning the dead. And at the end of the catacombs, a giant demon lady with giant boobs. So I don't think I have to worry too much about being family friendly on this stream. Yeah. She's got giant boobs that are pierced. She's a demon. She don't give a fuck. Yeah, I should be able to get to her pretty quickly. Oh, I think this is one of the cool... Wait. Yeah, this is one of the cool new rooms they've added. Now that they have extra graphics or whatnot, you can click one of these walls and it opens up. Yeah, that one. It's like a little secret. Okay. Yeah, and Dario's my last quest. I should be there pretty quickly. And then, what time is it? Because my goal was... Yay! My goal was to, before 9.30, be Act 1, and that will be it. I will achieve my goal. I named my character Nettie. And I went through the history of why it's called Nettie. And that, when I was a little kid... And this was uh, Diablo 2 was the first game I ever played online and my friend told me you need to make an online alias. And, he, and I said, "Okay, well just call him Chris." And he's like, "No, no, you could come up with any name you possibly want online. You could get creative." And I was like, "Okay, Nettie." And it was based on like the episode of Simpsons I watched where Homer was like, "Oh, Nettie." When he saw him in one episode so I thought it was funny, and he's like, no, you could be, like, Fire Stick 69 or something like that. I was like, nah, no, Nettie's fine. So I figured I'd call this guy Nettie since it's the first time I'm playing Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's just like bringing it full circle. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I used to do that. I mean, like, uh, like with this game, they only let you name one character Nettie. So you can't, like, if I was able to, I would have called them all Nettie. So then you end up calling them kind of based on their class. And this class, using bone spells, is considered a boner. It's a boner necro. So I'd call him Boner Nettie. We're just going to skip the jail waypoint. I know that I was going on about my OCD and stuff, but I'll probably just sneak and grab it off stream later. Scoop up this sweet, sweet experience. I'm going to die. All right. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting I have bone armor. Idiot. Let's 
Keep up some potions. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. I could probably speed run this a bit. If I see a big mob, I'll, I'll blast it. But if I see a few stragglers, I'm just going to avoid them. Because I might actually... Depending on how difficult these maps are, it might actually take me a hot minute to find Andario. So I'll just... Every once in a while, I'll shoot some. I'm level 12. I could kill her. I don't need too much experience. I'll probably be 13 by the time I get to her, which is right around... A decent level for it. And oh, that's a lot of experience. I'm gonna grab that. We're doing good. Oh, they're all hunched over and looking cool now. Not like the old graphics where they're just stiff, stiff bone. Like that. Oh, there's the, there's the thing I need. The inner cluster. Grab myself a quick waypoint. How saturated streams? Oh, they're probably completely saturated. Like this was. <laughs> I honestly did this mainly because um, I'm gonna use this on YouTube. Which also kind of made it easier to talk to myself when there was no one watching. Because I knew I'd be talking to an audience eventually. Which is probably a good way to go about streaming. Um, but, I don't know. It's, a good, it's still good exposure to stream it. And um, later on, once it dies down a little bit, I do want to do some like challenges with my other friends that have this game. Oh no, you're, you're fine. This guy's never killed me once before in my life. He says as he jinxes himself and he's about to freak out. There, he's dead. Um. Ah, oh shoot. Back off. Paige died again. All right, catacombs level one. We need to get the catacombs. I keep I looking at the chat. I mean to look at the camera, which is looking at the chat, looking at the chat to read, camera to talk to, screen to kill. We need to get the catacombs level four. That's where the crazy demon boob lady is, and Dario. Once we kill her, we get a bunch of cool gear, hopefully from her. Then we talk to War Eve. Or we could talk to everyone in the town. They'll be like, congratulations, you're awesome. Now go follow Diablo. Because he's out there killing things, summoning demons, freeing his brothers, causing terror. Because he is the Lord of Terror. Oh my god, it's a bunch of Eli's. And for my YouTube audience, Eli is the halfling character in our D&D campaign, streaming every Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock, called Careful Cantrip, on Twitch. You can also follow them on all the major social medias. And YouTube. Which I think is also considered a social media. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, I need stamina. 
Okay. There we go. Catacombs level two. Two more levels. We beat Act One. Hurrah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's a lot of spiders. Resurrect her. I need to buy a lot more potions. The order welcomes you. Do 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 do. Don't worry, I got this waypoint, and we know where we're going. A quick little jaunt back. We'll be back in business. Uh, man. Is that a rare guy? Do, 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 do. It really is nice to look at this game compared to what it was. Which I'll make people look at while I get back to my corpse. Oh my god, I didn't even notice I had a skill. I need mana. How did I not... I don't have a skill. That must be a glitch. I think. What? I have three skills remaining? That would have helped a lot. I forgot to look at the camera, but that would have helped. Oh my god, I'm going to be doing way more damage now. Dum 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 dum. I need mana. I'm gonna chuck a town portal up. Just so I don't have to run back if I die again, which I shouldn't. What's that stuff swirling around me? Oh that's my bone armor. It's a it's a necro ability. To just swirl bone around him. So it's like uh if I get attacked, it absorbs 20 damage before I start taking the damage. Well, hold on. Okay, I'm wrong about that. That lightning proved me wrong. It might just be physical damage, but I'm pretty sure... Not enough mana. I think that... Hold on. My brain. I need mana. It might just, like, divvy it between your actual health and the bone armor. Okay, I don't want this to happen again. No, melee's not good because that guy is lightning enchanted. So every time you, he gets hit, he's... Oh, shoot. I did that wrong. He's going to spew out lightning. And if you're super close to him, then all the bolts that would be spreading out end up hitting you at the same time. And then you die faster. Paige, take some health. Not enough mana. Just like if I narrow my teeth, then they get hit by more teeth. Which is what I should have been doing. Man, this... Okay, I'm just gonna avoid this person. Because, uh... It's making me feel like I'm too weak to kill Andariel. So if I just avoid that person and remain in ignorant bliss that I'm super, super strong... Then maybe I'll fare better against Andario. My screen's doing something weird again. I hope the stream's working. Okay. We're good. Those guys hurt. At this point, I'm gonna level from the experience I get in the chamber 
that I'm going to need to clear out for Andario, so I could avoid all this mess. And just run straight to her. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, cool. Yeah, every once in a while my stream, like, the screen just goes all black, so I don't know if it's still streaming. Okay, here we are. Catacombs level 4. The throne room of the boob lady. There's that level up I promised. All those potions. One more into the teeth. How much damage does that do? 13 to 17. That'll do. Oh, I see what's happening. In the classic Diablo 2, the non resurrected version, if you had skill points and then you click it and then you don't use them, then that red cross just stays there but in this one if you press it and you don't put a skill point in it disappears and makes you think you spent it and then you end up super weak and you die a lot yep boob lady's gonna come up I just want to clear everything around because she does a lot of damage and if there's a bunch of these little guys running around stabbing me it's no bueno So she's going to be straight across there, but there's people on either side here, so I want to clear them first. Okay, there's no one on this side, but there will be on this side. Okay. Let's go... I can still hear people though. Uh, let's try and kill them. If I shoot this too far... There's the boob lady. She's gonna come down. Where'd she go? There she is. See? Ah. Yep. She murdered. Not enough mana. Ah, shoot. It's going to be a lot of running around. Her poison is so strong. Later on, they use her same character model for a different character in the Diablo 2 universe that actually was a character that was in one of our in our early D&D life named Lilith. Okay, I need to go back to town and get more potions. Lots more potions. Okay. That'll do. 
I'll get my mercenary back for the two seconds she'll stay alive. Maybe I can get her some armor. What can I do for you? Give her this. Hold all that. I'll put that to good Oh, and she could use a bow too. Some poison damage. I'll put that to Giving Daryl a taste of her own poison. Oh shoot, she's right there. Get a few cheeky hits. Poisoner page. Uh oh. Focus. She's almost dead. She's almost dead. And... Ah! I need mana. She's dead! We did it! Back to the hell that spawned you, Andario. I can't carry anymore. Eat that. Hooray! Now we can listen to all their little speeches about how awesome I am. And Dario's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Adler. You think? You are a true hero and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, non-believer. This is a great victory indeed. But many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. Oh, I will. And I'll defeat him. And then he'll come back in Diablo 3 and kill you. Spoilers. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golain. Let's see. Yes. Oh, you have nothing to say? A necromancer. I hoped I'd never have to lay my eyes on one of your kind again. Recent troubles in this area have brought out all kinds, I see. Nevertheless, your money's good. A spare weapon, some gold. This guy's gonna get a lot of my business oh, once I'm rich. For the equipment you'll need whatever quest you can you gamble. No, no, no. Don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two day warranty. Okay. I think Kara has something to say to me, and then we can go east, and then watch the cool cinematic. Finally, we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend. Hooray! Good day. Let's watch the cinematic together. Shall we? Eerie music. The new remastered cinematics. We traveled east, over the mountains, and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself that he had once been. Eternity. 
Camel doesn't want to go. used to look like garbage it was good back in the day but they definitely did a good job redoing it It's getting intense. <laughs> Exciting. Um, cool. So yeah, that was Act One. This is Act Two. Again, we're gonna stay with the Bone Necro all the way until Act Three, and then switch over to Summoning Necro for Act Four and Five because I want to try out both. And again, the Summoning Necro is gonna be a lot better once I'm a higher level and can put more into the summoning skills and get more. Uh, summons because also the summons work way better in Act 4 and 5 because it's such an open area and they can swarm people but that's all I'm going to stream for today I have things to do and people to see um, but thank you for watching if you're on Twitch thank you for watching and supporting me if you're on YouTube thank you for watching and supporting me as well um, but until next time keep on questing